Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? What's up, what's up, y'all, what's up? It's your boy D, D Rock, Devon. We're back with another episode of BS and Welcome to the Stock Room. It's been a while since I uh, touched bases with y'all. Um, uh, let's just talk about um, what I've been going through in the past couple of weeks, you know? So it's officially been um, two whole months since um, surgery, so two months post-op. And let's talk about um, the weight loss we'll be here for, right? So I went to um, my post-op appointment and um, went in there feeling good. I'm like, I haven't weighed myself since the last time, you know? So I'm like, all right. My eating habits have definitely changed as, you know, they have evolved since the last time, you know. I'm off all the strenuous diets and, you know, post-op eating habits. So, <clears throat> down back to eating like regular food now, you know. So, it's like it's almost like when you put your toe in the water to see if it's if it's warm or cool or whatever. It's like now you back so now you like testing the waters to see like what you can eat or whatever. So keep that in mind. So when I went to the appointment, they asked me a lot of questions. I'm telling her like, yeah, like I know certain foods I don't want no more. Like it's almost like you gotta experiment again. So like I'll be honest, like I went to uh, I want to say you got I want to say McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's. I haven't had a, I don't eat like regular cheeseburgers anymore. Like I don't have the taste for that. So I'm like, oh, let me get like a nugget and some fries. Right? French fries is cool. The nugget show, I probably had like two nuggets and I was like, nah, that's not for me no more. Like I don't even have the want or the or the need to even have that type of food, you know? So I'm like, all right, boom. I ain't missing McDonald's. McDonald's is going to be McDonald's regardless. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, so I'm telling the doctor that. And then we go to step on the scale. Right. Step on the scale. Usually when I go, I was y'all see like I post like the picture of like what the scale says. I want to be authentic and 100 percent real. So I step on the scale and it goes to 326. Right. Now keep that number in mind. 326. I get off my okay, cool. Now when I'm sitting down in like the in, in the doctor's up in, in like the room. Oh, oh shit, that's crazy, like, 326, like, when I started, like, months ago, in April, or March, rather, I was 426, so that's a total of 100 pounds gone in, like, seven months, yo, that is crazy, like, crazy, like, I was just, like, I sat there for a minute, it's like, damn, that's wild, like, like 100, yo, like, 100 pounds, like, and it just goes to show you, like, so before surgery, obviously, I had to lose, like, 40 to 50 pounds. Boom, I did that on my own. Two weeks after surgery, I lost 30-something pounds, right? And so that means from after surgery until then, it was after surgery or after the two weeks um, past surgery, it was, like, 84. So that means from after that until then, so let's just say, End of October, end of September to the beginning of November. That was 16 pounds right there on my own. You know what I'm saying? So that it goes to show you, like, it's possible. It's really possible if you put your mind to it. Anything is possible, man. Anything is possible. You ain't lying. I just wanted to say that I was ripped, and um, I'm just happy I lost 100 pounds in seven months. Man. Like it's been a long journey. Now we in a holiday time, and Thanksgiving is like tomorrow. We are, we are, we are going to see this. It's probably going to be Thanksgiving depending on when I drop it, but even for Thanksgiving, like, I definitely want to partake in the turkey. Um, I haven't had, like, any pasta since before surgery, so, like, it's going to be my first time having my mom's mac and cheese. I love that mac and cheese. It's delicious. And then, like, just the, the greens and stuff like that, like, stuffing, I ain't missing that. I don't, I don't think I'll be partaking that. I'm going to definitely try, like, some sweet potato pie. That's, like, a must. I'm going to see if I even like that, you know, because your taste buds and everything does change after surgery. That's one thing 
that you gotta remember if you do decide to take this route, like you may not even want the same shoes that you had before. And um, yeah, I'm just happy I, I made it this far. I still got goals, you know? So like right now I'm down to 346. Like my goal by February is to be like at least 260 around there. And then by April, to be a full year, I want to be at least down to like 235. So I got I got some I got some ways to go. You get what I'm saying? But I'm on, but I'm on it though. Like I'm in the gym weekly, like at least three to four times a week in the gym, going crazy. I post that too, and people definitely hit me up like Yo D, like you see the change. You know what I'm saying? Like it's you can see it in your face. You can. Cheating like in, in, in like your body structure now, you know what I'm saying? So like, all that helps me. I'm telling you, it, it, it just motivates me to go even harder. Like, yeah, it's working, it's working. And to those individuals that hit me up on the side, like just asking me questions about it, like, yo, you can do it, man. You just gotta legit know what you want and get sick and tired of being sick and tired of how you are right now. And just like, yo, trust God, trust your team, and trust yourself, and you can do it simple as that it's not gonna be easy you know what i'm saying it's gonna, it's gonna be some some nights where you sitting like damn am i doing this right like am i doing this for me like you know what i'm saying like but if you want to get your health right you gotta you gotta take a chance and um handle your business man you gotta handle your business to 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 live long like you know so i just wanted to come in here and just tap in with y'all i know it's been a minute i'm living life like outside work outside work gym gym work outside like i'm just back and forth with it like you know but um happy holidays hopefully i eat good you know what i mean make sure you go don't go crazy on the place don't go too crazy on the place man it's not it's not worth it but uh hold up <laughs> bro man no you did not eat all the thanksgiving dinner man Everything was hidden too. <laughs> Except for them raglass peas. <laughs> raglass peas. Yeah, happy holidays. I'm gonna definitely tap in before Christmas so we can talk about more of the holidays and just the overall like aspect of having surgery and dealing with the holidays because it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. But um, just tapping in with y'all. Y'all have a Safe Thanksgiving and all that. I'm gonna definitely check in before Christmas. One.